before being exiled back to America. In 1976, Letellier wrote, the economic plan has had to be enforced, and in the Chilean context, that could only be done by the killing of thousands, the establishment of concentration camps all over the country, and the jailing of more than 100,000 persons in three years. Less than a month later, Letellier was killed by a car bomb. Good evening. A powerful bomb today tore through a car as it was driving along Washington's usually quiet Embassy Row. The Chilean was Orlando Letellier, who also had been foreign minister during the last months of the late Salvador Allende's Marxist regime. Richard Roth reports. Michael Townley, a member of Pinochet's secret police, was behind the bombing. He'd entered the U.S. on a false passport with the knowledge of the CIA. Michael, buenas noches. Buenas noches, Pablo. La opinión del poder judicial chileno, ¿hay confianza en él? Mire, yo confío plenamente en la en la justicia chilena como patriota y luchador anti-marxista y juntista por sobre todas las cosas. Despite his confidence, Townley was extradited to the U.S. and convicted of Letelier's murder. Pinochet ruled Chile as a military dictator for 17 years, but in a frank interview, Harberger remained in denial. You cannot have a repressive government for long within a genuinely free economic system. In the same year as Orlando Letelier's murder, Milton Friedman was awarded the Nobel Prize for Economics. I don't, you know, you people have such a distorted idea of what went on. Let me tell you some facts. Number one, I was offered two honorary degrees by universities in Chile before I went down. I refused to take them because those universities were being supported in part by public funds and I did not want to appear in any way to provide any support to the political system in Chile. I'm not a representative of Chile. I'm not an advisor to Chile. I have no commitments to the government of Chile. I now turn to you, Professor Milton Friedman. 